Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your third week of February general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Sparkle by Cameo. Now, interestingly enough, this is a band, so you know there's a lot of um, there's a lot of individuals in it. So I didn't get all the Zodiac signs, but the ones that were easy for me to pick up as far as the members go. Um, in Cameo, there is a Gemini, two Cancers, a Sag, and an Aries. So Gemini, Cancer, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Now, of course, this is a Cancer reading. So because we have two Cancers in that group, I'm getting something very specific about a Cancer sun sign. This could be you. Um, you also could be de dealing with a fellow Cancerian or will be if you're single. And also something with Cancer time frame. So around your birthday season, you may end up meeting someone. You know how like when you go out Celebrate your birthday, have a good time, family and friends, take you out for drinks, dinner, whatever. You may end up meeting someone then. Um, I'm just getting, like, it's something very focused on you. Because when I hear, you know, the song Sparkle, Sparkle in Your Eyes, it's making me feel like I'm getting two things with this. A lot of people, you're going to be catching a lot of attention. And then also, you already have someone's attention. And I feel like somebody's obsessive nature may make a cameo appearance. Like, I, I really do. I feel like somebody, you may not know that this person is one of those type of individuals. Like, they could be very jealous nature. Or it's like, they they could be obsessive with you. Because I'm, I'm also getting, like, infatuation. Like, somebody may be infatuated with you. Like, they can't see clearly when it comes to you. All they can see is you. All they want to focus on is you. Or this could be vice versa. You may feel like this about someone. So let's jump into it so we can see who this is associated with, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the chariot. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifies for both of those cards. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Wands, Success, Attainment, Achievement, Victory. Like I just said, I feel like you are the focus of someone's attention. He's up on that pedestal. Everybody is celebrating him. I feel like for a lot of you all, you, you're just shining. You're going to be very popular. Um, some of you guys could be Cancer Leo Cuspers because this is associated with Leo. You can also be a June Cancer, even though June Cancer is, you know, that's not a Cusper for uh, Leo. But still, for some of you all, this may apply. So some of you all could be Leo Cancer Cuspers. And also, so this can apply for um, someone who is a June Cancerian. Now, you can also be a June Cancerian with a lot of fire in your chart, specifically Leo as well is what I'm getting, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys, I mean, all eyes are on you because if you notice this crowd of people, they're focused on him. Everyone's celebrating this person, so all eyes are on you during this time. Now, also, you may feel like this about a fire sign. Some of you guys could be like putting a fire sign on a pedestal. You may have been with this person for six plus years and you still feel just as passionate about them now as you always have. Or someone who has strong fire in their chart could feel like that about you. I also feel like, like I said, if you're going out and celebrating and having good times around your birthday, I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. I'm getting that also. I'm also getting someone that's searching for you on social media. Let's see what we get for you guys, okay? Because somebody's searching for you guys on social media. Like, somebody is, like, looking at old pictures. I feel like, is this so weird? Because I've never gotten this before. But the way he's holding this up, it's making me feel like, Somebody may post a picture like from a yearbook or high school yearbook or something like that. Because Pinnacle is like your foundation, like something that has history. Someone may post a picture of you on social media and ask like, hey, help me find this person. And this is so interesting. This makes me think about a um, two girls. They were on this cruise ship and they were very young girls. And they played just for that one, that one period of time on this cruise ship. And look it up on social media. It was a really cute story. And they seen it, they they met each other. They were young kids. Their families were on this cruise, or whatever. And that was the last time they ever seen each other. The parents, the family didn't swap information or anything like that. And a girl, she posted a picture of her and the other girl that she seen on a cruise ship that she was friends with. She posted on social media and she said, "Hey guys, do your work. Help me find my friend from this cruise." They they only met each other there. Never seen each other after that. And then the girl posted a picture of herself like, hey, I heard she was looking for me. And they've been friends ever since then. Like, completely 
three different nationalities and everything. And that's how you know, like, soulmate type stuff. Somebody feels like you're a soulmate and they're trying to find you. And I know it's very specific, but I'm definitely getting that. Somebody's looking for you guys. Or you may be looking for someone. You're like, you're asking, like, I wonder where this person is. I've been thinking about this person. And I feel like it's someone you never dated. But this person is interested in you or you're looking for this person. There's your energy. Okay? One more shuffle because we want the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And you've had quite a bit of earthy energy. So for some of y'all, it could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn individual who's looking for you. But again, I keep getting with that pentacles. It's something with your foundation. Like somebody that you have history with. This also could be someone that follows you on social media. Like you may not know this person personally. But this could be someone who follows you on social media and they've kind of been on your journey with you throughout the years. Like, I have so many people <laughs> that follow me on social media and I be looking at their kids like, oh, look at my niece. She done got so big and I don't know none of these people like that. It's just like, you know, friends of friends and things like that. So it could be something like that. But I feel like this person is getting ready to express some interest. Like, they're really noticing you. I'm just looking at how the animal is just looking directly at us. You see that? And then it's like the spark. Remember I was saying sparkle? It's like this little spark. Like somebody is looking, somebody is questioning something about you. Let's get into it. So again, we want the chariot. That's your major arcana. The card, and, and you see me shuffle and we didn't get that far. So this is like something's going to happen soon. So you have the chariot right in front of it. Yep, ace of wands, fire, Leo, Sash, Aries. And then you also have, whoa, the sun, all this fire around you. Look at this, fire, 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 blood fire. So you got... Leo, look, again, Six of Wands, wow. Somebody got some strong Leo, or there could be a Leo who's looking for you or interested in you. If you're single, you could be connecting with someone in Leo season, July, August time frame. Or again, I'm going to say you could be a Cancer Leo cusper. Now, yeah, strong Leo for sure, but whew, okay. Then right behind us, you got the Eight of Wands, August Leo. You got a lot of Leo here, fire in general. So you have Leo Sag Aries, and then you have Leo for sure. I'm going to say again, I feel like someone is very passionate about you. Somebody thinks about you a lot. Again, even if you're already in a relationship, it's like this person still is just as passionate about you as they were when you guys first met. Somebody don't play about you or you're going to be meeting somebody who won't play about you. Also with the sun, whenever the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. So you definitely have a new love interest coming in for a lot of you all. I'm going to say also what I'm getting with this, like even in a crowded room, the only person that they would notice is you. In that also. I know that sounds fairy tale-ish, but it is what it is. It's real. Ace of Wands twice. Okay, somebody definitely thinks about you sexually. I always tell people, this is the same card, but you see the difference? The very tip of this looks like a penis here, doesn't it? Whatever gender you're into, it doesn't matter. It's a strong sexual energy. So, I definitely feel as though somebody like still has passion for you still. Um, somebody thinks about you sexually. Also, aces are action. Like I always get with this also, outside of the sexual aspect of it is like passing the baton right i feel like somebody's like okay you know when you pass the baton to the next runner it's like okay it's time to get active let's go so somebody wants to put something into action i feel like somebody's gonna be reaching out to you because that hand is reaching out like here like somebody's extending an offer olive branch possibly and i feel like that with that extension of an olive branch this could be somebody inviting you out to dinner or inviting you out somewhere where you guys can connect i'm getting that also Let's part the deck. Ooh, star card. Wish fulfillment and healing. Aquarius. For some of you guys, this person already reached out in Aquarius season, which we are currently still in at this moment. Let's see what's the fun of that star. Nine of swords, sleep does nice, anxieties, worries, or fears. This person may be fearful. Like, if I don't reach out, they may be taken by someone because they feel like this, this person is still, like, this person is very popular. They may be seeing comments on your social media or see that you have a big following. Also, if you guys have mutual friends, they somebody may say, yeah, this person, like, everybody's asking about this person. And so, I keep getting the energy, like, high school. Some of you guys know this person from high school. If you don't know them, you may realize that you went to the same high school. Because, like, even people who follow me on social media, like, they'll send me friend requests. And it's like, I don't remember this person, like, ever having a real conversation with this person. But I remember their face. And it's like... And I realize, okay, I look at the information like this person went to high school with me. Okay, again, look, <laughs> you guys keep getting the same thing. So it's like being around the same crowd of people. Some of you guys went to school with someone. Someone's looking for you. Someone's trying to find you. But I don't feel like in a bad way. I feel like, you know, there you go again with Leo. Another major icon associated with Leo. I definitely feel like for a lot of y'all, this person has strong Leo in their chart or you do. Whatever the case, I feel like with the strength card, this person is going to have the courage to approach you. Because strength also talks about courage. 
Bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Swords. At one point, they were not courageous. They were scared to approach you. Because sort of is just sword down as no um, swords, communication, and mental. So this person hasn't been reaching out, but I feel like that's all getting ready to shift. Somebody's coming towards you, expressing interest. I feel like some of you guys, like if you weren't posting things on social media before, you're posting things and they're seeing you and they're like, damn, he or she looks good. Like they're really noticing you now. And even with the song Sparkle, I feel like there's a new sparkle in your eye. Like you feel more confident. You may have changed, lost weight or... Because I'm just looking at her, how her midsection is out. And you see how she looks very confident, like... I know, I know what I'm about. You know, like, it's just like some male or female, someone just knows. You you are giving off an air of confidence. And, you know, regardless of how you look or how people perceive you, if you have an air of confidence about yourself, that's very attractive to a lot of people. So I feel like you're drawing people in because of that. So let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. Clarifying for the Ace of Wands for Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus individuals. Okay. Again, with that page of swords flipping up in reverse. So I feel like somebody is very interested in you and they're just trying to keep it to themselves. They may feel like it's premature. They may feel like this is just like some odd emotions. And I'm going to say again, I feel like somebody from high school, because pages are young, youthful. This is like either a teenager or a young adult for me. To have it in reverse is like in high school or when you guys were younger, this person didn't approach you. I feel like they want to come towards you now. I really do feel like somebody wants to come towards you because, again, when the sun is up, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new start. So someone wants a brand new, you know, they're coming about things in a different way. They weren't very courageous. Courageous at first, right? With the strength card in reverse. For you, a lot of you guys, it's something with a Leo. With someone with a strong Leo in a chart. Let's get a clarifier for the sun card. Let's clarify for the sun card, okay? Clarifier for the sun for cancer. Sun will rise in Venus individuals. Okay, and that fell out. Yeah, somebody wasn't very confident at first. So you have the Emperor. That's Aries energy. Like I said, a lot of fire energy for you here. You have the Ace of Wands twice. That could be um, Aries. But I feel like for a lot of y'all, this person could see. Here's the thing. Major Arcanas don't stall each other out. Whether they're upright or reverse, it doesn't matter. It's a major. So it's still definite energy. So I feel like this person was not very confident before. They weren't in their power. They didn't feel like they were good enough or they just were very insecure in whatever stage they were in their life. But now there's some type of transition. And this person feels confident. I feel like this person is going to try to come towards you. For some of you all, you may have turned this person down in Aries season, March, April of any time frame. We haven't made it to Aries season yet. So this will be in the past. You may have turned this person down. And again, I feel like for some of you all, you may feel like you didn't even look at this person's direction because you're like, this is not, you're not even my type. But I feel like something is changing with that. Something's changed with that. Now, I'm also going to say with a lot of you all, you have a new spark in your eye. You weren't standing in your power at first. And I feel like that has shifted. And so you're standing out more. You're shining. You're glowing now. And people are noticing that about you. So I'm getting quite a few messages, but you have to put it always where it applies for your specific situation. Okay. So, Cancer, someone rising in Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.